Surprise drop last night, the Red Bar Hotel long sleeve. This thing is fire. I'm so excited about it. Uh, you can see it now at redbarradio.net slash store. And I surprised dropped this heat last night. Shout outs to everybody calling it heat. You know, these words have really picked up and I, I've just taken them from YouTubers. And I've been saying them as jokes. You know, I, uh, I really got into the sneaker culture. Started watching all these sneaker vloggers. You know, these geeks. See, I'm crossing my legs. I'm going to fuck myself up. Got to stop doing that. Tell me when I'm crossing my legs and not to do it. It's a habit. It's going to take years to break. So I've been saying all these words, cop, heat, drop, fire. These are gags that have now become actual words that we say. And it's so crazy to see how many of you now say these words. At the same time, I can imagine a large section of the audience really despising that way of speak. You know, as you get older, people really develop this resentment for anything that kind of is newer or they're not around or don't understand. So they start getting pissed. You know, and I think the reason that I embrace all these new words and all these stupid young people things that you old timers get so mad about is because I watch generation after generation separate themselves from the younger generations and then almost have some sort of, you know, mini unspoken subtle culture war between you two, uh, you know, just like guys and girls do or the left and the right does. And I think it's important to blend your life with with all different shit and different generations and, and what they're doing. I think it will keep you happier some way. You know, I've always said staying up to date is important. And when I see Bill Burr or these old timers talk about what the young people are doing with disdain, all I see is an old guy that doesn't get what's going on. And I, I don't think you have to become that. And I don't think you should have that false pride about being the guy you were in 1993 in 2017. So blend it all together. There's no reason you shouldn't. So I watch, listen, I watch fucking 12-year-old boys. Uh, that sounds, I watch 12-year-old boys YouTubes. I want to know what they're up to. I have a, a wife that's 10 years younger than me. I want to know what that, all that is. And then I watch all the old timers too. Kumia, 79 years old. I think it's very important to have a mix. Don't get caught in just your group of people. You'll have a much more fun life. Uh, and at the same time, you don't have to hate on people for wearing ripped jeans because it's not what you wore when you were in high school and or the style, some whack fucking Cole style that you adapted when you got out of high school and just stuck with that your entire life. So shout outs to people who mix it up and don't be afraid to mix it up. Don't listen to anybody. They don't know what they're talking about. Does Bill Burr even call his wife a nigga? Genuinely curious. That is a, a, a actually a wonderful question. You know, I want to let people into some secrets in my life. I don't like to talk about my personal life a lot, okay? Uh, there are too many people, by the way, talking about themselves over and over again without any concern for maybe it being uh, beneficial to anybody else. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I don't mind talking about yourself if it lends some advice or maybe some insight to something that somebody else could use. But I don't like when people talk about themselves just for the sake of uh, talking about themselves. Uh, why did I say that? But I'm going to tell. So, yeah, that's why I don't like the. Oh, you know, you listen to like Joe DeRosa and Mark Maron. We don't care. And by the way, you shouldn't be so depressed, people. You know, nobody should really be depressed. Look into that. You should be pretty happy for most of your life. If you're depressed and whiting, stuff's going wrong. So uh, that was a great comment, actually. I'm going to riff on that comment since I have no content planned. Does Bill Burr even call his wife a nigga? If he doesn't, we're in a world of problems. I'll tell you why. Uh, my wife and I uh, sit around. I sing songs to her all the time. I, I would say I talk to her. 25% talking, 75% singing. 
I do a lot of singing. I grew up in a house where my dad kind of sang very cringe songs around the house. Anybody else have a family where somebody in the family just sang these little jingles that they riff and make up? I think my dad used to do that. I think that's where I got it from. I sing jingles all day long to my dog. Hey, I love you. What the hell are you? And I just kind of let you know the, my mind go. And they're all very choppy and cringe sounding songs. I sing these songs to my wife all the time instead of talking. You know, uh, all the bored moments where I think a lot of people go quiet, I sing little uh, jingles. Do you rap to your wife, Mike? Constantly. But it's always a joke rap. It's always so. But that's what I was going to bring up. So somebody asked, does Bill Burr ever call his wife a nigga? Now, Bill Burr, white comedian Bill Burr, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, got uh, married to a very standard stock black woman. People hear this and they go, oh, my God, he's attacking Bill Burr's wife. Absolutely not. I'm describing her. She looks like, Gavin called her uh, a mail lady, as in a postal service lady. She looks like, uh, yeah, the mom from uh, Family Matters. Carl! Carl! You son of a bitch! I wish the Family Matters show had a bunch of swearing in it. Carl! She's got the laundry in her hands. I always go to that. And that's kind of what Bill Burr's wife looks like. And Bill Burr thinks he could get married to this woman and then show up with her everywhere in pictures, and everyone's supposed to just go, oh, yeah, that's completely normal. It's not completely normal, and that doesn't mean it's wrong. Uh, Bill Burr, his wife, doesn't even look like she'd be a person that talks to Bill Burr. I mean, she really is. Can somebody pull up a picture of Bill Burr and his wife? You're not going to believe how regular black she is. I heard her on the podcast all the time. I always imagined her as some light-skinned, hip New York City black. When you look at her pictures, it's so clear. She is like a I like a 50-year-old black mom. Um, so it's it, 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 it hits you off guard. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Obviously. That's wonderful. But the fact that Bill Burr doesn't do a podcast and go. By the way, my wife, very black, you're going to be like, whoa, whoa, who the fuck is that? Uh, so here, the pictures are coming in. Black wives matter, of course. You know, this is an old bit, but we're just catching people up. Here she is. Shatanka. This, yeah, I, I mean, come on, that's crazy. Oh, well, that's, she's done up. She's done up in that pic for an event. This is really her? Look at this. I mean, that's a rather black person for a guy like Bill Burr. You know, so it's odd. Now you go, does Bill Burr call his wife a nicka? And I actually uh, always wondered that. Like, if you're dating a black chick, can you be like, I'm going to fuck the shit out of you, nicka? I want to lick that pussy, nicka? I would. And that's why I say me and my wife have a relationship like that. I sing these songs to her where I go, I'm gonna kill you, stab you in your heart. I am going to destroy you. You're going to move in and I'm going to dump. You ready to get dumped? You ready to get dumped? I've been using you and cheating on you. I like songs like that. In the same style, does Bill Barabba joke around with his wife and go, what up, Nick? And can you call a black lady that you're dating a nicka? I would hope you could. I would hope their relationship is so solid that he could lay in bed and be like, damn, you looking fine, nigga. I mean, imagine saying that to a black woman. That's funny to me. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out on a nice chunk of comedy. I would say, uh, yeah, if I was Bill Burr dating the black wife, I'd be like, damn, nigga, strong. Stuff like that, just because it's joking around and nobody would ever call their black lover, even if they were black, I don't think they would call their black lover a nigga or refer to them as a nigga. And I would. I totally would. And if she wasn't fine with that, then we're not meant to be. Um, so I wonder. And that's a great, great, great... Somebody says that's inappropriate. Nia would work. Is there a race play porn where they scream, fuck 
this slave puts it. I wouldn't be able to stop. If I was uh, married to a black woman, I would be saying all this, those things. Because I say all those things to my wife about black people. I'll just be bored and I'll look over to my wife and I'll go, are you a nigga? I mean, and she doesn't even respond to half these things anymore because it's so stupid. Um, but yeah, that's where I live. And uh, I would hope he does that too. I don't think she would put up with that. Excuse me! She'd probably put him on blast and their whole relationship would be over. And that's why he tiptoes around it. Like I said, if I was Bill Burr, I would come on and go, you're not going to believe the wife I chose. You guys are going to flip when you see this. She looks like... You know what she looks like? She looks like one of those people who rose at the bottom of a ship in the 1800s. You know, they're all on a bench. In sh- a slave. A slave. I would say stuff like that. Is your wife a nigga, Mike? Absolutely not. That's sick. Mike is chimpin. She's a chimp. Uh, no, 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 no. You know, don't talk the way about people. She seems a bit militant. I married a negress is a joke. Someone says, knock up, please. So I enjoy that kind of stuff. I find it to be funny, and I don't care what people think. That's why a lot of times you tune into the pre-show if you listen live, and there's music on, for instance. It'll be like this. Really? And I'll go, nicka, yeah. nicka, 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 nicka. I am a nicka. A lot of good men yeah. have died. A lot of good nickas. And I don't know. I just find that to be funny. It's, it has nothing to do with race, and nobody ever calls me on it. Nobody ever is like, radio host says nigga and nia and nigga constantly. Because I think they know that I'm just joshing. Uh, Mike, what heat do you have on your feet? I already showed you guys. Yazis. These are the Yazi belugas. I think I ever, at the beginning of the episode, what do you guys think of this? I know I'm alienating a lot of people again. Like I said, you got a lot of people here. They get mad when you talk about sneakers now. Not on the show. I would understand on the show you might get mad. You're not interested in knowledge. They just don't like that I wear them. Uh, but I think at the beginning of the episode, I'm going to do an on feet where I go, Yezzies on feet. Here are the Yezzies. Here they are. These are the Belugs. Okay, I want you guys to get into that culture. Okay, I want you guys to be in there. So I'm going to keep hyping that shit up. Nicka Minaj, somebody says. People are just writing all these things about nickas and nickas. Do you still drill oil, Mark? What does that mean? Uh, you a race mixer, Mike? No, no, no. I did have sex with, uh, I'll tell you this, I've had sex with two nickas in my life. Has it been two? I think two. The first nicka, her name was Allison. This was, uh, what was I, about 17 years old? I don't know. It was either 15 or 17. I don't remember. It wasn't, uh, I got sent to boarding school from 16 to, to, see, how does this work? Was it after, I get confused. What happened before boarding school and what happened after boarding school? But anyway, it was when I was a young man, under 21, and there was a half black, half white chick, the only way to go, in my opinion, uh, named Allison. She was a nicker. And uh, I got it on with her. And she wasn't even my type at all. She came on to me. She was actually dating one of the biggest gangsters in our town. And his name was Fabian. This guy was the leader. Okay. I didn't even, I didn't even know this guy. But everyone was afraid of him. Did you guys have that when you were about, you know, 15 through 18? There was just some guys who were gangsters and they were leaders of everything. He was white, but, you know, people said, oh, he's part of the folks, the folk gang, folk love. And uh, I didn't know Fabian. I didn't fuck with him. He was dating this girl, Allison, this half black, and he was a leader of one of these gangs. And uh, I remember I was hanging out at this dude's house and this chick was there and she was all coming on to me and we screwed around. Fabian finds out. And uh, he tried to kick the shit out of me. It didn't work. You know, uh, he uh, he wanted to fight me, but I wouldn't uh, engage in a fight. So he just said, oh! he got out of there. So I got lucky, but I could have been killed. You know, he had a reputation for beating everybody up. Uh, and then the second nicker 
is actually somebody who's semi-famous. I fucked a black chick. Now, I don't know if this is a half, but it was a Nia. I fucked a black chick who was on The Bachelor. And she was actually at a prominent role. She was on, uh, I don't remember what season. Maybe two seasons ago, The Bachelor. She was black. She worked at this bar where they did Comedians You Should Know. And I was there. I was working on Drew Michael's comedy special album. And she was there. And she forced me to go home with her that night. And I will say this. You probably tracked down. There's been a lot of knickers on The Bachelor. I didn't want to have sex with her. But uh, I was in a car with her. We were driving her home at the end of the night. We were all drunk. We were driving her home. And we uh, we let her off at her house. She grabs my hand. She goes, you coming with me? She didn't have that voice. She says, you coming with me? And I looked at Drew Michael, who was driving. I go, I really don't want to go. And he goes, go, man, go. And I go, oh, shit. Went to the Nicka's house. And I say Nicka with all due respect. We go in her house. It's trashed, which is a big turnoff to me when a girl has a trashed house. And we get into bed and we start doing all this stuff. I start banging her. She smelled. She had, uh, she got the funk downstairs. And I remember that. And if there's even a faint smell when you go down there, and I didn't eat that shit, you know, I'll fuck a nigga. I don't know if I'm ready to dig in on some fried chicken. I'm just kidding. That's being very insensitive. But uh, there was a little stench there. You know, like a stench of, uh, yeah, I've been up all day and all night rocking the same Janes. So two Nickas in the can and one chink uh, named Midori when I was a kid. Uh, Other than that, all whites. Okay. So, yeah, those were at times uh, little personal stories there. I hope you enjoyed that. Shout out to this Redbird. The smell of ass Gavin calls a poor man's vagina. I'm going to uke. Somebody says, bring on the funk. Gotta have that funk. Uh, if I was Jim Norton, I'd be like, I love when a pussy smell. Shut up. It's disgusting. I hate all that stuff. I hate disgust. Uh, two nickas in a chank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to. So no more nickas for me. Uh, as far as sex. Any Asians? Yeah, I said a chink. My dick racist as fuck. Nope, none of that. Mike fucked Midori the violinist. No, 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 no. She wasn't that. She was one of the... And by the way, all the minorities that I've ever had sex with, they're always happening minorities. They're mixed in with the whites, and they're basically white people with the, you know, that just live in the same neighborhood, you know? They're the one. Uh, So tired of Norton's perversion. Yes. Mike, would you have sex? Uh, Mike, would you have sex is a lamb? I don't know what that is. I had the same experience with a Nika, someone said. I like pussies that don't smile. I'm reading the chat, by the way. And if this is crude, if this is rude, I'm sorry. I find it to be crude, too. Norton wishes pussies smelled like feet. He's sick. Cut him off. Cut his head. Question, is Bill Burr's Nika... Wife, uh, the first Nika, or has he always been in the dark? <laughs> is this his first Nika, or has he always been into the dark arts? Somebody asks. It's a valid question. I think those are valid questions. And the fact that all of his friends have to go, oh, yeah. Yeah. just say nothing, ask nothing. There's no conversation. That's where I kind of, he really lost me. It wasn't because he was with a black woman. But I thought Bill Burr always commented on everything, you know, that was around, especially things that were off. And he kind of, he never brought up any of that stuff. And I figure, I I think that's a big miss. It's his first woman. He ain't a sex guy. Bill got a dark meat fetish. Uh, Black chicks are way more aggressive. Elise Lamb, not into it. 